Hello everybody, this is AG. Today I'm showing you an amazing trick that will definitely help you to beat your opponents. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's start. White plays d4. Black will reply with d5. Here you will play c4. Black plays dxc4. This is the queen gambit accepted. You have many options here, like e4 or knight f3, but I prefer e3. It is a logical move. Supporting d pawn and attacking black's pawn. Black should give the pawn, or he will lose. Let's see what will happen if black played b5. It seems a logical move, right? Actually, it is a big mistake. Let's see why. White plays a4, applying pressure on b5. Black should reply with b4 or bishop b7. Both of them are good moves in this situation. But if black fold in the trap and played a6 or c6, then congratulations, you are totally winning. Let's check a6. You will play ax b5, and if ax b5, then rook x a8. You have an extra rook. It should be an easy game for you to win. But what about c6? Let's check it now. You will play ax b5 again, and after cx b5, then the queen f3. The black should give the bishop or the knight to save the rook. Here is the end of the video. I hope it will help you in your games and be aware of falling in it. Thanks for your watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That was AG, see you soon.